Probably the pandemic is a perfect example of where you need a CEO and a CFO to be working hand in glove and to be able to rely on each other. Nobody would have modelled what to do in the shock of a lockdown. Uh, nobody would have modelled what would happen in some instances where a business closes overnight and yet costs remain. And I think the CEO uh, to have a you know a good relationship with their CFO in that kind of scenario needs to have complete and utter, utter faith in their CFO in knowing the financial consequences, the key financial issues, whether it's in terms of covenants, whether it's in terms of cash, or in terms of just the fixed and variable costs, in that kind of a sudden shock to, to a business. I think as a private company, it's clearly very important, but you have external shareholders who are also adding perspective. But as a listed business, I think it's, it's just, it's the most important relationship by far inside the business. Um, the, the shareholders need to know that the CFO is independent of the, of the CEO. Um, the CEO needs to implicitly trust that the CFO has got, obviously, the numbers right, but also that basically is a, an effective sounding board um, because both of you are ultimately controlling expectations in the city, you're, you're controlling um, the, the execution of the direction of the business. Um, and I think having, having a relationship where you don't need to be friends, uh, um, but at the same time, you need to trust each other implicitly. And, and I've been very fortunate that I've had a relationship like that with my CFO. I think this, this trust and respect, you know, which I really think are very important in really important in business and how we, we relate to one another at committee meetings and it has to be again something that's self-evident from everybody observing uh, how you interact. The frequency of, of non-verbal or not non-direct communications has obviously increased o over time and all that little wandering around to each other's rooms and whatever is diminished and it's great to see that coming back because I think that's something we, we miss, that sort of soft collaboration. There was hard, we we're missing hard collaboration as well, but the softer collaboration stuff. And I, I'm hoping that that'll get back on the agenda pretty quickly and that people will engage because I think that engagement at work is really, really important and it does result in, in better outcomes and speed of decision making. I think as a CEO, um, we can set the agenda in terms of what our CFOs and other senior leadership spend time on. So if I'm just asking about you know setting the budget and delivering the monthly numbers and that's what we talk about that's what I'll get I, I need to make sure I'm giving space to my CFO to be spending time on sustainability and longer term things of course they need the right uh, skill set and he or she has to have that but more important I think is uh, the CEO setting the tone and the agenda